welcome to Lab Rats. I'm Nicole. And I'm Drew. And today we take out two teams of Lab Rats and pit them against chaotic forces to see who comes out the winners. Let's meet them, Nick. Let's meet them. On the red team, we have Nikita and Georgia. Nikita, you're pretty good at some form of origami, but it's not with paper. No. Why don't you show us what you can do with that tongue? Okay. Get a load of <laughs> that. And that's a flower, isn't it? Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> and Georgia, you want to work at a zoo? Yes, because I love animals. So do you think it'll be a bit smelly and stinky working in a zoo? Yeah, but I don't care. You don't care? You can handle that? To so bring on all the dirt and mess? Yeah. All right, let's <laughs> bring it on. Okay, Blue Team, what can you bring on today? Oh, Blue Team are looking pretty tough, pretty skilled today. Brendan, is there anything you're afraid of? Clowns. Clowns. I'm with yeah. you here. What is it about clowns that really creep you out? Well, one day when I was about five, I went to a friend's birthday party and the main thing was a clown and he stepped on me. And yes. ever since, I've been scared of clowns. And the, uh, clowns are one thing you don't want to be stepped on because they got those huge shoes. Yeah, it It's hurt. the biggest feat. I know. <laughs> well, hopefully there's not too many clowns lurking around the place here today. Now, Ryan, you have a very special skill. I huh? do. Yeah? And what is that? Well, I can make the best Mediterranean omelette anyone's ever tasted. Watch out, Jamie, because I'm coming. Oh, he's throwing it down to Jamie Oliver. What makes yours better than Oliver's? Well, my secret ingredient, but I'm not allowed to tell you about that. OK, cool. We'll keep that a secret. We don't <laughs> want to give the secrets away. But it's no secret that our first challenge is up next. And that, of course, is the Nano Challenge. <laughs> What's the best thing that you can do with balloons? I would say decorations for a party. Decorations for yeah. a party is good, although with Brendan's fear of clowns, parties are not a good yeah, idea. No so go. I'll show you something else cool you can do with balloons, cool. okay? Right, um, can I borrow your do for a second? Would sure. you mind as being a volunteer? Just gonna rub it against there just like that for a second. So we get plenty of charge on there. And then we're gonna take that balloon. It almost smells like it's burning there, Ryan. I can hear his hair <laughs> crackling away. We're going to take it up. If you just stand back for a second and put it against the cupboard here. Now, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to fall. It is <laughs> not oh, going to really? fall. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Thank how's you. It, how's it sticking there? Well, what happens is when you rub it against hair, like Ryan's like that, it gets an electric charge, OK? And then when you take the balloon over onto the surface of the cupboard, it brings opposite electric charges to the surface. As we all know, opposites, opposites attract. attract, yes. And if the force is great enough, the balloon will stick there and defy gravity. Excellent. So what are these guys doing today? Your challenge today is to get as many balloons as you can using that static method, rubbing it on your hair, sticking it to the cupboard, as many balloons as you can to stick there for two minutes. The team that does it will grab themselves ten points. Ready, set, go! Come on, blue team. Oh, nice. That's it, use the hair. You're going to have a great hair to at the end of this, Georgia. And that's it, get those nice and static -y. Three balloons up there. Unfortunately, we didn't we get any more. Well, that means the points go to the blue team. Congratulations, blue yeah. team. Well done, guys. Let's throw our points at the scoreboard and see if they stick. We have the blue team on ten points. Yeah. And unfortunately, not sticking too well. The red team on zero. Good work. Still Nothing happy, still next. happy. And be positive, <laughs> that's the way to do it because there's plenty of opportunity to grab points as we get into what will happen if. Drew, we're going to need some protective gear. Check. All right, so... 
Well, while Sue's gone, we're going to put our safety glasses on. Okay. Now. All right. Um, we're ready. We. It's just hot water. It's not radioactive chemicals or anything. Better to be safe than sorry. Okay, Drew. I need you to pour this hot water into this bottle here. Okay. Stand Everyone back. stand back a little bit. Okay. Pouring in like so. Yes, all the way up to the top. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay, now I need you to pour it back into the jug it came from. Are you having me on? No, no, no. No, all right, okay. <laughs> this is what we're doing. All right, here we go. Pouring it back in. All right, guys, come in a bit closer, have a look at this. I've got a really hot bottle here. If I'm going to put this water balloon on the top and press it down, do you think it will be pushed off the top of the bottle or will it be pushed down into the bottle? This one, if you get it right, will be worth five points. Do you think the balloon's going to be pushed out or pushed in? Pushed in. Pushed in? Yes. Yeah, I think it'll be pushed in as well because... When the jar's hot, it'll probably attract the balloon and it'll pop and the water will go in with it. We were doing this in science the other day at school, so mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that Mrs Walker said that it will get pulled in. You guys are looking the most sensible out of the three here, so we'll go with that. Yeah. Pushed in. Here we go. Off the balloon on the top. Seems to this be might movement. Take a while. Yep, it is definitely dropping down. Yes. There it goes. <laughs> it's kind of like it's alive. Yeah, it's halfway through. It is. <laughs> Come on, water balloon. It's still moving. I thought it was getting fast, but no. Oh, oh, there he goes! Yay! Yay! Well done! It took a while, but we got there. That's right. Yes. Two thumbs up to both of our teams guessing right there. Best. Yeah, you guessed right. Now, when the temperature in the jar cools, the air pressure in the jar gets lower than that of the air pressure in the atmosphere around us. So the atmosphere around us pushes down harder than the air inside the jar is pushing out. So when this difference in pressure is large enough, as it just was, the water balloon is pushed down into the bottom. That was unreal. Pretty cool, right? Hey? Yeah. Yes. And congratulations to both our teams picking up five points there. After the what will happen if we have the blue team on 15 points. Yes! yes! Good for you. And we finally got some points up on the board, girls. Five points yes! for the red team. But don't worry. There's plenty, plenty more opportunity coming up. So stick around and find out all the situations our lab rats will get themselves into. Bananas, I've got water balloons, I've got water. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. I'm measuring the volume of odd shapes. For example, as I put these balloons into the measuring cup, I can measure their size or volume. So you're doing it like this because they're an odd shape? Exactly. It's a clever trick. See, when we put something, whatever its shape, into water, we can measure how much water it displaces. Is that like how much water it moves away? Yeah. So when I put all of these water balloons in this jug and measure the increase in the water level, that will tell me the total volume of all these balloons. And this one should take us to around 1,000 mil mark, bearing in mind that we started with 500. Cool. So the volume of the balloons is 500 mils? Yep, and I can prove it. I'll pop all of the balloons and measure the total volume of the water that was inside them. Whoa! <laughs> Got him. So as you can see, it's almost equal. We had a little spill. Almost equal to 500 mils, or 0.5 of a litre. So that pretty much proves that what you were saying. Yep, yep. So what is your challenge for our lab rats? Well, our lab rats are going to be doing the same thing today, except they're going to be using bananas. You need to work out how many bananas you're going to need using that same method with the jug. Okay, once you've got 500 mils worth of bananas to prove that you have that, 
you will then be mashing the bananas and putting them into a separate jug. Now, when I say mashing, I don't have a potato masher lying around, do you? No, I haven't no. got one on me. So you're going to be using your hands. OK, so the team, that's right, so the team who can do that the quickest will win themselves 15 points. OK, but this is our method madness, so... Yes. Oh, of course. We're going to be going team. team at a time, so we need to decide mm. which team is going to go first. Blue team, you're in the lead, yep. so you get to choose. Do you want to go first, or would you prefer to be shrunk down with the shrinking ring? Shrunk or first? Okay, let's get shrunk. You let's get, get shrunk. shrunk. You wanna get shrunk. Red team, you're safe. So blue team, time to get shrunk. Brendan and Ryan, this may be the last time you're going to be your proper size. Is there anything you want to say or do before you go? I'd like to say that I love my mum. There we go. It's a beautiful moment. Are we ready? Okay. Let's get shrunk. <laughs> Boys, how does it feel? Well, I feel a bit small compared to everything else around me. That, that's generally the idea of the shrink ray. Good, and it's not that I don't trust you now, but we need to make sure you don't peek. So Nicole's just going to put the uh, protective cage around you there. What? Well, it's not a cage. What cage? I don't say anything about a cage. And to make sure you really what? don't peek, I'd like to introduce you to the guard, <laughs> Kitty. Well, it looks like blue team are going to be busy for a little while. Let's see how the reds go in Method Madness. All right, girls, go. All right, first one down. That's it. Breaking it in half, liking the tactics. In we go. There's one banana. Um, up to 650. Okay. Carving it, I like this method. Beautiful. One more. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. All right, so the mashing begins. Don't, don't throw them yet. Oh, we're making a right mess here. Beautiful. Okay. We're nearly coming <laughs> up to a minute, girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, we've got banana on the lab coat. See, that's why we wear these things. <laughs> We're coming up to two minutes, girls. Let's see if we can knock this over under two minutes. Yep. Come yep. Here, last one. What have we got? Is that the, that's the last one? And stopping right there, right dead on two minutes. Well done, girls. <laughs> Now it's time to unshrink the blue team. Are we ready? Yes, yes let's okay. go. Alrighty, your time starts now. Peel it, Brendan, peel it. Peel it. Oh. There we go. Get it, hurry up, hurry up. Get those bananas out of there, Brendan. Come Brenda. on, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. Get all of it. Set up. I'm running down. So get those bananas out. Are you a banana fan, Brendan? Oh, no, I hate them. Really? Yes. Okay, use that rage, Brendan. Use that rage to break them free from their skin. Come on, Brendan. One more banana. Let's that... Yes, quick, quick, quick. No, Brendan, that's it. I don't need it. Okay, go. Put it in, put it in. Remember, Brendan, you got to get them nice and mashed up. Mash them good, Brendan. Remember how you feel about the bananas. Die! Release your anger. That's it. Get them nice and mashed. I'm going to get all of it in there. Okay. Put a 500 mil mark. Get it in there. That's it. Yes, yes. And that is it. The results are in. Let's see how our teams did. How did red team go there? The red team, two minutes. Very nice. We have the blue team on 1 minute 40, which means oh, it's going to the blue team. So close. So close. Oh, they're excited. <laughs> they're very very excited. excited. Let's see how that makes our scoreboard look. We now have the blue team on 30 points. Yes! Oh, and unfortunately, just missing out there, girls, you're on five points still. But 
don't worry, girls. See, they're not even worried. They're not worried because they shouldn't be next. worried. Yeah, they shouldn't be because coming up next we have the biggest challenge that we've saved right to the very end. It's the rat race. For the rat race, it's good to be smart. And it's also good to be quick. And it helps to be able to see in the dark. Nicole? The first, first place is in the particle accelerator. Get to grab the most bonus points to add to their score. They're called status accelerators. Quick, it's time to start the rat race. everybody because we're about to go on one crazy ride. Drew, where are we going? We are off to the labyrinth. We've Woo! got the blue team out in front, the red team a bit behind, but it's nothing that the labyrinth can't sort out. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All righty, our rat race challenge for today is this. Get a load of this, guys. Here we go. Stand back. Pump these up. I always feel like that. There Whoa, we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, cool. You guys like that? Yeah. yeah. And what happens is when you pump those pumps and start filling the bottle up with air, the air pressure inside becomes so great that it forces the cork out. When that happens, the air rushes out and propels the rocket up to the top there. To complete your rat race challenge, you have to make sure your rocket knocks all of those targets over, OK? Only then can you proceed on. So what you have to do is race through the labyrinth Complete the challenge, head through the maze, and the first team to get cheesed wins 30 points. How do you feel, boys? Oh, I feel pretty good. I think that we could win this. Yeah, we're definitely going to win. Yeah, we'll, we'll match we'll, them like bananas. Who's going to do the pumping? Whoever's there first. Whoever's yeah. there first? Yep. Just pot luck? Yeah. Yep. You're happy to leave it up to that? Yeah. yeah. Red team, are you ready? Yeah! Excellent. Blue team, are you ready? Yeah! All right, let's do this. On your marks, get set, go! Beautiful, they're neck and neck at the moment. Neck and neck as they head into the laser field. Blue team ducking and skipping. Not work, Brendan through the laser field first, followed by Ryan. Red team getting caught up with those lasers, but they're making their That's way it, through. Girls. Brendan flying up to the rope ladder now, followed closely behind by Ryan. Georgia and Nikita not too far behind. Brendan is up over the top and heading to the edge vision chamber. They're hot on their heels. Let's go, Reds. There's nothing here. Can you find you, Nikita? <laughs> The girls are holding on to each other, so they're obviously a bit scared. Here, here, here. What do we do, though? we just got to get out. Come on, Brendan, where are you? I like the way they're thinking by checking yeah. the roof. They just need to check everywhere. That's what they need to do. They need to think outside the square to be successful in the dark room. You need to think outside the square to get outside the square, <laughs> That's basically. Exactly right. Oh, Georgia, where's the star? You found it? Oh, through here. Where? 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 Here. Here's I can see. Okay. Quick, go down. Down, go. Blue team are out. Down the pole. Into the walls and the particle accelerator. Reaching for those status accelerators. That's it, Ryan. Not far behind Brendan, there's a right. and a 20 points. Oh, no, 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 stop. Ryan, I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, 35 Blue points. Blue team firing up their rocket. Will it be enough power? No. Get it back on the court, boys. That's it. Let's Stand go, back. Nikita. Here we go. Blue team trying to find a rocket. The red team not far behind. You better work quick, boys. That's it. Whoa, one target. One target for the blue team. Okay, that's the last of the status accelerators. Red's picked up 15 and blue 35. Okay. That's it. Come on, boys. You can do this. Oh, not quite high enough. Get that rocket back on there. Okay, girls, you've got to make sure the bottle's back on the court, otherwise nothing's going to happen, girls. That's it, boys. Come on. Back on the court. Make sure you okay, get that seal on there. That's it. That's it.
team. Oh, look at red team using a different technique to blue team. Will it help them? Come on. Yeah! Oh, oh, red team yes, gets it out. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Competition, it looks like the Blues had in the bag with the red team coming back. Congratulations, 30 points. Beautiful. That's the thing about this game, it's full of unpredictable forces. The red team took out the rat race challenge, well earning done. themselves 30 points. Congratulations, well red done, team. Girl. That is accelerator points, Drew. Yes, how Don't are they looking? Don't forget about them. Blue team actually picked up 35 in the status accelerator. Well done. Good job, Blue. And girls, you picked yourselves up an extra 15. So this is going to make it very, very close. We need to find out. Okay, let's take a look at the scoreboard. We have the blue team on 65 points. Yes! And the red team on 50. Yes! 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 So close. Very, very close. Well done, everyone. Well, we've caused all sorts of chaos and we've had a heap of fun along the way. So thank you to everybody for playing today. And thank you guys for being a part of it. There's plenty more chaos where that came from. So we'll see you next time. See, see you later. later.